Hello, everyone, and thank you very much for having me. My name is Fabian, and I'm co-founder and COO of Keyless. We are a deep tech cybersecurity company building passwordless, privacy-preserving biometric authentication solutions. Based on more than 10 years of research in machine learning, biometrics, and cryptography. And today, I'd like to talk about how we leverage a unique combination of privacy enhancing technologies with machine learning and multimodal biometric authentication methods to revolutionize the way we authenticate and identify people online, touch upon the challenges and opportunities the industry, particularly the financial services domain, is facing, and give a perspective into what we see ahead of us working toward a more personal paradigm of managing our identities. And just a few words in our company to start with. At Keyless, we provide passwordless, privacy-preserving biometric authentication for the enterprise as a frictionless single sign-on, universal biometric multi-factor, VPN, VDI authentication, or workstation login, and for the consumers as a GDPR and PST2 compliant strong customer authentication capability that allows businesses to strongly authenticate their users with a simple look into the front-facing camera of any device, no matter what hardware, platform, uh, or operating system the device is running on. We are a team of experienced cybersecurity and privacy experts, and our two co-founders, professors Paolo Gasti and Giuseppe Attenese, are among the world's most renowned scholars in privacy, security, and artificial intelligence, and have been working at the intersection of privacy-preserving security protocols and modern biometric authentication methods for more than a decade. And together with our team of 25, we are embarking on our mission to enable anyone to seamlessly access any digital service from any device while keeping your personal data safe, private, and under your control. But before we talk about the status quo of authentication, let me start with two rather obvious thoughts or questions that might highlight the underlying issue. When was the last time you had to reset one of your passwords? In your personal and maybe also professional life, do you, do you reuse your password for more than one account online? If your answer is yes, you're not alone. In fact, more than half of IT leaders reuse a single password. So what should we expect from the average user to do differently? And we know from practice that people don't follow password best practices, but rather choose a password that one can remember. And not only one that's easy to remember, but also very likely reused across various services online. What's also true in practice, among other facts, is that passwords are the reason for more than 80% of all data breaches and about 50% of all help desk calls, which make a simple password reset cost about $70, according to Forrester Research. So the password, which has been around for 60 years, is a big challenge. When it comes to authentication, we're not only talking about passwords. When we talk about authentication, we refer to the act of verifying or proving our claimed identity, most commonly through username and password that we initially established and had verified when we opened our accounts or onboarded as an employee with our employer. And it's an act we're involved in multiple times on a daily basis. Generally, we talk about three main authentication factors. One, an inherence factor is something we are, such as our physical and or behavioral biometrics. Two, a possession factor, something we have, such as a device or hard token. And three, a knowledge factor, something we know, such as a password or PIN. And each of these authentication factors have their own advantages and disadvantages, which brings us to the underlying challenge for digital identities and authentication more broadly, which is the long lasting trade off between security and privacy on the one side and convenience and user experience on the other. We touched upon the password as a knowledge factor earlier on, which in theory can be quite secure, even though choosing, remembering, and managing dozens, if not hundreds, of unique passwords and pins can be quite complex and cumbersome for us as users. But this isn't only cumbersome for us as users, but also for the businesses who have to securely store and manage our user credentials and personal data, typically done in a central database. This attracts hackers to execute data breaches that can result in compromised privacy and ultimately in a significant financial burden. Biometrics, on the other hand, are quite convenient and they're unique to us as individuals. There's nothing we need to remember. However, it's very sensitive personal data and the collection, management, and storage of biometric data is, far, is a far larger burden for companies from a security and privacy compliance perspective. And in addition, because biometric data is unique to a human being, it cannot simply be changed as opposed to a password. In fact, most companies have security procedures that involve the rotation of the user credentials, meaning 
the act of changing a password, typically every 90 or 180 days. And with biometric information, this is impossible as we only have one face or one fingerprint and it's ill-advised to keep that data stored in a central place. So in order to perform stronger authentication, we need to combine multiple authentication factors. And in fact, this is what PSD2 in our European Open Banking Framework suggests with its strong customer authentication requirements, typically combining one of our devices that we verify by generating a pin code in a secure banking app or it's getting delivered via SMS or email with a password as something we choose and know and may further protect and unlock by local biometrics and then share with the dependent party, such as the bank we're logging into or the payment we're authorizing from our mobile devices. And research shows consumers rank security a much higher priority when it comes to money-related applications, such as mobile banking. However, when it comes to social media, for example, security drops as a priority and convenience, for example, in the form of social logins, like the Facebook Connect button, becomes much more important. So at the end of all this, we're achieving stronger security at the expense of an inconvenient, inconsistent authentication experience. And today we can observe several key trends in the market that drive forward a new passwordless authentication paradigm based on an increased adoption of biometric technologies. These trends include a more and more mobile workforce, an environment of rapid digital transformation, which COVID-19 certainly accelerated massively, including new capabilities and standards around authentication that include biometrics, and high consumer and employee expectations of solutions that deliver an exceptional user experience across all channels. And the market research firm Gartner predicts that by 2022, 60% of large enterprises and 90% of mid-sized enterprises will implement some form of passwordless authentication methods. On the other side, there are several drivers for the adoption of biometric authentication. The most obvious is customer experience. We touched upon earlier that provides a fast and easy way to authenticate ourselves. Second, a market trend in growing fraud and cybercrime. For example, during the last months of the pandemic, we've seen phishing attacks skyrocket at levels of more than 600% of previous months. And lastly, a regulatory push for privacy compliance and security. In Europe, of course, with the GDPR and PSD2 strong customer authentication requirements, where we are seeing very similar regulations in about 60 countries globally. For example, privacy guidelines like the CCPA, the California Consumer Privacy Act, PDPA in Singapore, or the equivalent in Brazil that went into effect this summer. And when we think of the evolution of authentication and take a step back from the trends we're seeing in the market today, we realize that passwords have been around for about 60 years. In addition to passwords as the only knowledge factor, we've seen hard tokens come along as a possession factor and added layer of security, particularly in the enterprise context. On the consumer side, we're using soft tokens and SMS 2FA, and with the introduction of Apple's iPhone and touch or face ID systems, biometric authentication, local biometric authentication became popular. And this solves many of the user experience problem and the hassle around having to remember a password but comes with their own quite severe limitations, particularly around interoperability, reach, and thus the penetration of these solutions. Looking ahead, we see a future that's focused around privacy, where privacy isn't simply seen as a risk management or compliance function, but as an enabler for business, a strong customer relationship and future value proposition and value creation um, in the form of products that are offered to end users. And at Keyless, we are building a platform that combines these privacy enhancing technologies with machine learning and modern biometric authentication methods that allows for a more secure, passwordless and privacy preserving authentication and a user centric identity model, which is another trend that we're seeing in the market. And we are pushing this paradigm one level further with our zero knowledge biometric authentication platform that eliminates the need for businesses to store and manage passwords biometric data, cryptographic keys, and other sensitive personal information without compromising on convenience and privacy for the employee or end user. Whereas an individual, there's nothing you need to remember. You authenticate with who you are. You remain in control of your information at all times, which also means that our solution is compliant to privacy regulations by design, such as GDPR, in fact, far exceeds these requirements as we are not processing personal identifiable information. And we can achieve this through our novel distributed approach to biometric authentication based on a cryptographic technique called secure multi-party computation. 
And this process essentially allows the user to become their own key and root of trust in any authentication process and is independent of the end user device, no matter what hardware vendor or operating system that device is running on. And it essentially transforms the user's face into the user's cryptographic key or password in the simple case, without having to involve a password, biometric data, or any other shared secret in the process, reconstructing the secret every time it's required, meaning there is no sensitive information stored on the user's device, neither in any database on the server side. And it also offers multi-factor security by design. And from a technical point of view, when the user initiates an authentication, um, such as logging into uh, a website and uh, VPN authentication or authorizing a payment uh, with strong customer authentication processes on the mobile device, um, we first verify the device the user is using. And again, this can be any device that offers a front-facing camera independent of the underlying hardware or the operating system. We read the user's biometric, meaning you look into your camera, but we ensure you are a real human being and not a video or picture of yourself that someone else presents into your camera. We then extract the biometric features. So we have our own proprietary artificial intelligence or machine learning algorithms running on the device that transform the raw biometric input or that biometric recognition process into a string of numbers that we then transform, meaning we split it up in pieces and encrypt these pieces locally on your device. And we're then taking these one-way encrypted shares that we generated out of your face and match them through a cryptographic protocol uh, that preserves the, the privacy in, in the process as we're not involving or this doesn't represent any biometric information uh, at this point of time. So you could think of this as end-to-end -end encrypted biometric authentication, whereby the result of that is not uh, just a binary yes or no, uh, this is you or it isn't you, uh, but the servers that are involved in the process reconstruct um, or re return uh, an encrypted piece of your private key that you can reconstruct and recombine on your device to perform a one-time action such as generating an authentication token and logging into an enterprise identity and access management system, authorizing a payment, signing a digital document, etc. But very importantly, there is no information stored on your device at all times, neither in any central point on the server side in the architecture. And when we look back at the three authentication factors, uh, the keyless authentication essentially eliminates the need for a knowledge factor and having to remember a password and lets you become your password yourself. And it offers multi-factor by design where we combine a possession factor Again, any end user device you wish to use, whether that's a mobile phone, a tablet, or a laptop, your physical biometric in the form of your face, where we ensure the liveness uh, of yourself. And we'll soon introduce behavioral characteristics such as keystrokes, so the way you hold your phone or swipe on the screen as an added layer of security in the authentication process without introducing any added friction. And this position is us uniquely in the market where we combine the user experience benefits of a universal, unified biometric experience that is accessible from any device without having to store the data in a central database with the security and privacy benefits of local authentication technology such as touch or face ID without marrying the user to one particular device and fragmenting the user experience as the company depends on the end user device, the hardware or operating system the employee or end user is using. We're introducing two distinct product lines for workforce authentication and consumer authentication where for the enterprise, we offer frictionless login, single sign-on, or a universal biometric multi-factor for VPN authentication, BDI authentication, or local workstation login, such as your Windows laptop. And on the consumer side, we allow businesses to strongly authenticate their users, um, either in the form of our customer uh, multi-factor authentication application, or through an SDK that can be embedded into front-facing and user-facing applications, such as a secure banking app, to perform that PSD2 compliance strong customer authentication process with a simple look in any front-facing camera. And when we go and touch deeper onto the workforce authentication um, use cases, we essentially all know what the problem is. We all hate passwords. Um, and as initially mentioned, passwords are the reason for uh, many of the problems, not only in terms of user experience, uh, but also privacy compliance and security. Um, and we offer a solution that allows the employee to authenticate and log in with just a look um, where you input your username, um, receive a push notification on your mobile device, 
or look into the front facing camera the laptop allows you to use, present your face and you're authenticated with two factors, the device being the first, the face being the second, and soon also the behavioral characteristics. And this solution can seamlessly be embedded into existing or current identity and access management systems or VPNs the enterprises are using through standard integrations such as SAML, OpenID Connect or Radius, um, and essentially transform that user experience to a much simpler, more secure and user-friendly um, employee authentication. On the consumer side, we all have um, the issues around authorizing or authenticating um, ourselves with consumer use cases, especially when we're using our mobile banking applications. But we offer a solution that allows users to strongly authenticate themselves, for example, to authorize a payment or a transaction, where instead of receiving an SMS or email to copy paste a pin code or switching to another secure banking application, the user simply presents their face into the front facing camera the bank is offering and strongly authenticates with the simple look. And what we see ahead of us is a personal identity management paradigm where we as users are able to selectively disclose our own identity information in a more personal, private and secure way. And essentially come from that authentication paradigm that we touched upon coming from passwords to privacy preserving or zero knowledge biometrics and to the future of identity where we see the user uh, being in control of their own data and the identity management operations being centered um, around the user on a peerwise connection with a dependent party such as a bank. But in order for these decentralized identity services um, to function from a technical side, you need the infrastructures um, that typically involve uh, end user key management operations, um, which is essentially a much more complex form of a password that the user needs to deal with. So if we're thinking passwords are already a problem, um, public private key pairs certainly are. And what we do with Keyless is that we simplify that authentication experience or end user key management operation with a simple biometric authentication that you can use from any device without being uh, dependent on a particular technology vendor, um, software or operating system, and essentially perform this universally across all devices. One recent example where we are helping an education customer of ours, Louis, with our technology partner, Cisco, um, is around virtual exams um, and where we help 10,000 students uh, of Louis to take their exams remotely in their um, spring and summer exams, um, which will continue now in the winter, who are using the keyless authentication to uniquely identify themselves when logging into the Cisco WebEx tool, the video conferencing tool, where the exams are being held. I'd like to thank you very much for your attention. Uh, please feel free to reach out to us and our team. Uh, visit our website at keyless.io. We'd be more than happy to discuss this further with you. Uh, and with that, uh, I open the floor for any potential questions and wish you a great afternoon and a great conference ahead. Thank you very much.